Hello my gorgeous Scorpios! Welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Mystic Wisdom Tarot and you're catching me I think it's the 24th today and I really was thinking about you because I am a Scorpio and I'm feeling these energies for this full moon that's coming up on the 26th already and the full moon in Scorpio and I'm going to add some beautiful rose petals and we're going to do a little ritual uh, to bring in love and abundance of course and on my channel we only bring in white light bright light I've pre-shuffled a few little oracle cards keepers of the light the mermaid uh, the seven energy oracles and of course I love my energy oracles and we're going to use as above so below it was so beautiful in the pre-shuffle because I like to bring in clear energy for my Scorpios was the Nine of Pentacles. And if you are a single female focused on your life, love of yourself, your talents and your abilities, amazing things are coming. We're going to bless this reading with white light and protection as always. And I put the full moon in Scorpio card here just to remind us of these energies. We're going to pull out a Keepers of the Light, a couple of oracles, and then I'm going to get into the Tarot. At the end, we're going to pull in, if you have somebody that you're interested in, the Pining cards to see how they're feeling about you and messages of love. Scorpio, Scorpio, who is your Keepers of the Light for May 2021? Keepers of the Light for May 2021. Angels and guides. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I knew it was going to be a uh, powerful reading. Look at that. We got Sanat Kamura, Light Activation. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. And Lord Ganesh, Infinite Abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Now, Sanat Kamura, as you know, I'm not an expert on, on Sanat Kamura, but I do feel he was the first one that came out when I received these cards a couple of years ago. And he is Lady Venus's twin flame, one of the highest beings in the astral realm or whatever realm somebody that you can call on. But I feel as Scorpios are being light activated to bring in our highest qualities, we've divin, uh, divin, divin deep. <laughs> and now it's time for us to rise up like the Phoenix. Let's get another oracle, couple of Oracle cards. And then um, we're going to look at the energies for these are wonderful cards that are going to be blessing us here. Lord Ganesh, Sanat Kamura, please come through release any obstacles bring in only white light pure light what is it that my scorpios need to know to be able to handle this full moon and to be able to walk into their new chapter i almost feel like the garden and the gate is telling you you are prepared to leave you're prepared to go on this adventure it is something that you have dreamt of your whole life and oh and you know what is so beautiful about this receiving this card today is that my goddaughter just opened up lily lily flower farms up in the pacific northwest and i prayed for her that the sun would open up over her beautiful grand opening and it did so you know it is amazing how magic can work but i feel you're ready for this new adventure and what is it that Scorpio needs to know? Rest, rejuvenation, and cornucopia. So, and look, taking action. Um, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Angels and guides, thank you for blessing this reading. We're going to put Sanat Komoda here, and we're going to put beautiful, infinite Lord Ganesh there. And we're going to look at these energies, how we can bring in the cornucopia. What is it that we're looking forward to in this new adventure, May 2021, as we move into these completely new energies, my beautiful ones? Scorpios, this full moon is going to be very intense. 
hold back doing anything really, really uh, like a new date or uh, meeting someone new, hold off a little bit. Uh, the emotions are going to be very intense. And, um, you know, we're diving a little bit deeper, maybe healing something. What is it the Garden and Gate is trying to tell us, Scorpios? The Death card and the Nine of uh, Wands, you guys. The Death card is the Scorpio card. Death, transformation. It's like we have had many lifetimes within this one lifetime. And we have had many lifetimes as well. Um, and I know you know that. And you feel like the wounded warrior. You've been through it. Do I really have to do this again? Do I have to get up and leave my comfort zone? Yeah, you do. But let's see what's coming forward when you do leave your comfort zone. You can handle it, my beautiful ones. You're always divinely protected. You're like the cat with nine lives. When we leave our gate, and recognize this uh, look at this you've been hermiting too long I get it me too there's the hermit going within you have gone within and done the work you may think you're not ready to apologize to that person or send them that letter or um, um, have a reconciliation with someone um, because you feel like you've burned bridges but you haven't you haven't. It was all meant to be for you to go within to shine the light into your own heart and heal your own heart. And this beautiful full moon in Scorpio is that time for you to recognize that you are a divine being and you can rise up like the phoenix. Not the scorpion that's going to bite, but the phoenix that has a higher perspective now that you've the hermit and gone within and done the work. And that should be right next to the rejuvenation card. Yeah, coming out of the cold. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yes, emotional. Five of pentacles. Feeling like, what am I supposed to do now? Where am I supposed to go? Asking those questions is going to give you the answers. Where is Scorpio supposed to go? What do they need to know for May 2021? Spirit guides and angels, they need the truth and clarity to move on. The hangman. Boy, you guys, very spiritual reading. The death card, nine of wands, hermit, five of pentacles. Getting a new perspective brings you victory and success. It's that simple. Change your mind, change your reality, change the way you're communicating are you communicating with love respect and honor what are those beliefs that that you have within haven't you noticed karma when you give out you receive right are you being receptive to these beautiful gifts that are coming to you the cornucopia through the rest and meditation what is coming in for my, and we're going to get it to love. I just know this is a little bit esoteric, this reading for my Scorpios, but you can handle it because you are the Hierophant, the High Priestess, okay? It's not necessarily Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, but what I see here, as above, so below, which is these cards, I feel that you may be consulting with someone, you, you know, if you are feeling depressed or anything like that, please reach out to someone. But I feel that you may be changing your beliefs. You are looking at institutions and religion and higher learning in a different way. I feel some of you may want to go online and, and uh, study some something new that's going to help grow your, your business. There's the cornucopia. What is it that is bringing in this beautiful cornucopia? This beautiful mixture of happiness, joy, sun, love. What is this? Cornucopia is the, the best of the best of all. 11, 11. There is that king of wands. That's a cornucopia if I ever saw one. 
He knows how to manifest. Okay. Could be a Leo coming in for you. Fire sign. But the cornucopia is knowing that you create all of your own abundance through your actions, through your hard work, through your discipline. And as we grow and learn and can see that the universe has our back, we take action without fear because we're strong. We know how to tame the beast within the ego or we use our ego as well to get what we want. But I'm not saying in a negative way, in a positive way. Hmm. Victory, success, the Hierophant, after deep transformation, a new spiritual awakening with the hangman. Beautiful, guys. I'm loving it. Angels and guides. We have the Ace of Cups. Oh, I almost want to cry. You guys, something, a big gift is coming to you. I feel it. Some big gift is coming to you. Don't be afraid of this full moon in the sense that, yes, we have to control our emotions. Oh, ho, ho, here I am, Scorpio, Scorpio. I'm so water. But I'm also a Leo rising. Oh, Pisces moon. Um, but, you know, so check out your rising moon and Venus, right? For love, Venus. But for what is coming through, for using these tools to manifest what you want, your heart's desire with peace and love, knowing that the universe has your back. The moon is the culmination, is it's just like it's its fullness, and then it lets go. So it's gonna be very intense. Put out your manifestations, you guys. Or just open up to the divine giving you the next clue for what's coming next. Yeah, seven of cups on the bottom. So many choices, I feel. It's not, this one doesn't feel like an illusion delusion. It feels like I have my cup here in my hand. And I'm just grateful that I have all these blessings coming to me. It could be multiple blessings. Angels and guides, there you are again, bottom of the deck. Nine of Pentacles, focusing on your gifts, not comparing yourself to anyone else. Angels and guides, two more cards, and then we're going to clarify with the mini tarot. And um, I think I need to get some earth magic here. Ooh, earth magic. Queen of Pentacles. So Taurian. We're in the Taurian season right now. Get out there. Get grounded. Focus on your own coin. Queen of Pentacles, do some earthing, earth magic comes out, okay? Get out there, walk on the earth, it's good for you, it brings in all the negative ions, you know, which are good ions, okay, you guys? Oh, I didn't light our special candle. This is dedicated to my Scorpios in love and light. Bring in this healing, this full powerful moon. Help us to control our emotions, to release our fears, and to know that we are loved by the universe. Thank you, angels and guides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I do feel like I need to get one of the seven um, oracles before we jump into love. Angels and guides, what do my Scorpio collective need to know to help them manifest their true heart's desire? to help them be at peace with their future. What do they need to focus on after this full moon, during the full moon, and May 2021. This one wanted to come out. <sighs> the Rose's Kiss. Isn't that beautiful? Colette Baron Reed, The Rose's Kiss. I'm gonna have to read that, a little bit of it, just the intro. Anything else? Okay. The power of purpose. Beautiful. The power of purpose. Nine. The roses kiss. Just really quick. Stick with me, guys. Joy. Experiencing pleasure. Deep satisfaction and enjoyment. Desires acknowledged. Five sensory reality. Take a deep breath. 
and enter and and center on the feeling of joy. Wasn't I saying that about joy? Can you allow your senses to awaken and connect with your innate desire to experience all life has to offer? Pleasure is part of life. Let yourself surrender to it today. Our modern times often presents a false ideal of how we are meant to experience the world. Connections are lost and distorted by our over-reliance on technology. Just look around and see how few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation. Instead of tapping away at the screen, pause and consider how you can make more intimate connections. Okay, sensuality, touch, smell, sight. This is a beautiful card for this season of Taurus. And by being present in the sensual world, you invite an even deeper spiritual experience. Amazing, isn't it? Perhaps it really is time to stop and kiss the roses. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And the power of purpose. Uh, I'm just going to read the intro, I promise. Okay individuation seeing your unique place in the world a clear sense of authentic purpose healthy self-esteem my beautiful queen of cups letting go of conditioning celebrating your uniqueness you be you there comes a time when you realize that you are uh, destined for something that is yours and yours alone the catalyst might be an experience with a special person, a path you choose, or something you feel called to do. You'll discover it's not necessarily what you thought it would be and has nothing to do with what anyone else wants or seems to want. This gets better and better. I want to keep reading. Oh my God. So discipline involves, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Just keep removing the blocks to your essential self and your purpose will find you. It's that easy. What a wonderful thing to know. So you are emerging into your divine purpose and your divine purpose is to kiss the roses and feel joy and happiness. Your divine purpose is to focus on you, queen of pentacles here with this king. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm seeing something happening here. I'm seeing something happening here between these two. And we're going to jump right in to what is this relationship queen of pentacles and king of wands is this a manifested relationship queen of pentacles and king of wands ace of cups in between if my beautiful scorpios desire a relationship and they know their purpose and power ooh, you're going to get the messages whether it's from the divine sanat kamura lady venus Archangel Michael, I'm hearing, or a message from your lover. Tell us more about the messages coming in for my king and queens. Hangman again. Spirituality time. Looking at maybe a relationship in a new way. Or, yeah, there's something about seeing something in a different way go back before you approach this king or queen and really think is this the one that is my heart's desire what are the qualities of this person what is it that i need to do to be a better lover better friend better partner seeing things with love yeah coming out of self-sabotage and heartache oh boy have we been through it you guys we self-sabotage things because we think it's going to end in heartache can we just be in the moment and let go of that let's see full moon it's time to release negativity, the full moon in Scorpio. Woohoo, that one went way far away. Let's, these cards are so cute, though. I love them. Magician, of course. He's, he wanted to come out prominent. It's like, look, we got the tools to overcome that heartache. And we are. And that self-sabotage. Let's use our magic. Whether, you know, and I'm not saying you need to put a spell on anybody, you know. Um, uh, I say divination rather than spell, maybe. When I put rose petals in the candle and the light, 
it's a dedication to the, the rose kiss, to love and light, to love and light. What is this magician trying to tell us? Death and transformation. It's time to release the past and to move into the future. The death of the old broken heart. The death of, oh my God, we were so wrong. We didn't know. Guess what? When you know better, you do better. If somebody needs to know that, tell them. I didn't know, but now I do. And when you know better, you do better. Angels and guides, tell me about this King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. And we're going to get to the love messages. Tell me about this King of Wands. He does want to either apologize to you or you want to apologize to them. Page of Pentacles, a messenger. That is the Eight of Wands, a message coming in, a new offer. What is this offer from our king or queen? This divine union, queen of cups. There you are, my beautiful ones. There you are. Your self-esteem is so high that you, I almost see the four pentacles, are holding out for the one. I don't care how old you are. You know, during this uh, full moon in Scorpio, they say in studies that more people break up and move on from a relationship that is no longer satisfying to them. Scorpio, get a new perspective. How is your relationship? Is this someone you need to move on from? Or do you need to see it in a new perspective and try with love and light and respect and forgiveness to start something new? Only you will know in your unique situation, Scorpio, May 2021. Oh my God, there's the King of Cups. Whew, coming out of no more Seven of Swords. No more in and out stable relationship yes the world swirls around us king of cups queen of cups isn't that funny i wanted to put him this way equal balance of love oh my god love it love it love it let's get a pining card see how they're really feeling about us as we bring in this new love renewed love I think I need, doo -doo 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 -doo. got so many cards here. We're going to get Romance Angels. I really, really, really want a Mermaid Oracle. I know most of my Scorpio brothers and sisters out there, we were all together in Lumiria. Mm -hmm. We feel at home in the water. Spirit Guides and Angels. From our past life in Lumeria, what is the message from our past life in Lumeria? What do our beautiful brothers and sisters of Lumeria, the mermaid oracles, want to share with us? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my beautiful ones. Ooh, ooh, of course, for Scorpio. <laughs> and I saw this one pop out too. Sacrifice. There are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you. Right? Uh, uh, right? We've been destroyed. We have risen. Don't go back to the same old ways. What did Einstein say? When you do the same thing over and over again and expect different results, this is a sign of, you know, stupidity, something like that. Death and rebirth, sacrifice. Don't sacrifice yourself anymore. We are, we do. My God, do we do that in love. We do everything to keep it when it's time to walk on and move from that garden gate. Vision, psychic imagery, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body travel. Pay attention to your dreams, my beautiful ones, and you can endure all endurance. Keep going. All right. Tell me about my king and queens. Queen and queen, king and king. However it resonates. Tell us about this rose kiss attraction. 
There it is. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is very, very May Taurian energy. Get out, get grounded, go smell the flowers. Absolutely. This is a past life. When you run into this person around the corner, look into their eyes. You have known each other before. One more, Archangel Shemuel. Give Scorpio, the collective, what they need. My Scorpio viewers, subscribers, every time you watch me, hear me, I send you white light and love and a soulmate. Woohoo! One flipped, can't let it go. Getting to know each other, love that. Oh, I feel romance on the horizon. Soulmate love, come on. And it could be renewed love. I am not saying somebody from the past, but I think you're getting a new perspective on something. This is like not a new chapter. It's a new book. What are we going to do? Messages are coming. Oh, look at that soulmate on the bottom. You know, swans mate for life. Mm-hmm. Angels and, you know, put some swans in your feng shui romance corner. Is your house ready? Is your bed made? Act as if he's going to call you and give you 24 hours. <laughs> thinking of you. They're thinking of you too. They want you to smile and feel it. Okay. Reach out. Passion. Okay. Remember what we were saying about, you know, don't do it online. Maybe you call somebody and actually leave them a message. Hey, I was thinking about you. How have you been? Or, hey, remember we ran into each other and da 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 da, -da. I don't know. Want to go for a walk? Flirt a little bit. Sometimes you need to take that initiative and reach out. What was I saying about past life? And, you know, some of these cards aren't so great. Well, we have self-love, and that is a Queen of Cups loving herself so much that she's not going to hand that cup to just anyone. She's holding out, but she's manifesting. Rekindle. I'd almost want to stop, but vows on the bottom. Ooh, I miss you. <gasps> rekindle past life. Could be somebody that you that is new, that you're rekindling a relationship from a past life. I call in this beautiful soulmate for you, but take the time to get to know each other. All right. And remember, honor them, respect them, be more interested than interesting, my beautiful ones. And this love can be yours. Let's get a love oracle if you'd like to stay for that. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing. My readings are available private readings. I do uh, video readings for you and answer all your questions and you can see the cards come out. Information in the link below. Everything's starting at only $24. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. I'm just feeling, don't be too, up. oh, freedom. And I was thinking about that Uranus squaring Saturn in Aquarius, it's like really like, oh my God, I want to be free. I want to be free. But then Saturn is saying, hold back, hold back. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So if you want it to be, okay. But one more, you know, we got Venus in Taurus, which loves being there. Mercury. So, so be careful with your communication. Think before you speak. Think before you send the text. Angels and guides. Transformation and reflection. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And this one just popped out. Romance. Cupid's arrows. Mm-hmm. Cupid's arrows. That is the Eight of Wands. That is Venus's child, Cupid, sending you these arrows of love. I call this in for all of you. If you would like to accept this, put please a like below or even a message. I accept this beautiful romance 
this past life lover that is a soulmate. We complement each other. I call it in, I call it in, I call it in. I call in this deep love, this yearning. So it is, so it is, so it is. Namaste. Thank you, my beautiful ones. I love you. Ciao, Bella. Namaste.